Hey y'all, it is Friday. Listen, I was sitting up here, not trying to be nosy, not trying to get into anybody's business, but trying to figure out, okay, what do I need to do? Excuse me, because next week is Christmas, right? So I got the notification um, yesterday about Tyler Perry being single. It was kind of jarring because who would think that there would be any problem, right? He's got, but I look up here, his net worth is a billion dollars. This lady from Ethiopia, um, You know, I don't know what her background is, but I'm sure that with her country being in upheaval and um, she was probably feeling some kind of a way about that. Black people having their own situation here in America, and I'm sure that Tyler has a situation about that. It's the pandemic. A lot of things are being revealed that people weren't able to, you know, you know, know about before. So that's part of it too. And I was trying to figure out what year is 2020 is the year of the, what is the year of the rat? Yep. It is the year of the rat is the first in the Chinese zodiac cycle, a rat year occurs every 12 years. If you were born in 2020, 2008, 1996, 1984, 1972, and 1960, 2020 is your Ben Mingian year. Ain't that something? Is 2020 a lucky year? According to Chinese superstition, during any of these on... Okay. It says, doing, doing any of these on January 25th, the day the Chinese New Year falls in 2020, will lead to bad luck for the entire coming year. So let's, let's see if our... You know, hindsight is 2020. Let's remember back on January 25th, what were we doing? What did you do? Um, 2020 is the year of the rat, an animal that symbolizes wealth and the beginning of a new day. How about that? I think it's interesting how... Uh, Whenever things are radically changing in our life, in our society, we just, I'm, and I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one because I was just like, oh my God, 2020. <laughs> but meanwhile, I know that before you have a baby, you got to go through labor and delivery, which is horrible. It's the worst thing ever. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Listen, let me try to get in here. The telegraph is trying to get me to, I don't want no three months free telegraph. The year of the rat 2020. Also, I don't know uh, what, what kind of rat 2020 is. So let's just see. Um, what kind of rat year is it? Okay, let me go here. Come on. I wanted to be able to get out of here soon, but this is taking me so long, y'all. I started looking at my notes. I did not plan on, I just planned on doing this here for one minute and being done, and it just sucked me in. 
Okay, listen. Let's see. Okay, it says the rat is also associated with the earthly branch Z and the midnight hours. Oh my God, I don't want to know all of that. Rats are clever, quick thinkers, successful, but content with living a quiet and peaceful life. So that's people that are the babies that are coming forth now here in 2020, including Wynn Wilson. Uh, Sierra and Russell's baby boy. Listen, this is just too complicated. Hold on. I want to know what, because see, there's different kinds of years. You know what I mean? Uh, year 2020 is what kind of a rat year? I don't know if it's metal, fire, or what. So as soon as I can find that out, you guys. Oh, it's taking forever. Listen. I, I, okay, so here's the, the first thing that I thought. Because Taraji came forth with the decimation of her relationship, which I thought was very sweet. He was so sweet. Let me tell you something. When a man gets you a dog, that's sweet. That is sweet. Okay. Uh, and I really wanted sweetness for Taraji because she's been through so much. Okay. But that's just me. And what do I know? Right. <laughs> is it any of my business? Hail to the now. <laughs> but listen. I was, I swear to God, I was listening to the man who was the body double for O'Day Hussein. That's what I was doing this morning, minding my own business. Um, because somewhere in my mind, I really felt like this is really O'Day. It's not the body double. They killed the body double. And I'm watching this because I'm like, is this really O'Day Hussein? You know. Then... Something popped up in my notification that said something about Tyler Perry or Taraji. And I thought, you know what? Them two need to get together. And then I thought, let me just drop a quick video on that with just my little opinion. Not that nobody cares. But I just thought Tyler Perry and Taraji P. And that's all I thought. Very simple. TP and TP, which I just think is so cute. I just think it's adorable. Um, Taraji P. Henson and Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry and Taraji P. <laughs> She's already got the P in her name. Taraji Perry, you know. I just thought it was just cute. Just that's it. And I got a good feeling about it. So I thought, okay, well, let me just, then I said, well, do a little bit more research. Cause I don't know that much about, um, Taraji. I never seen her in real life, but I did see Tyler in Houston at the Houston Coliseum when he was doing his play and, um, we got tickets. And so I went and I took Joseph with me to see the play and, and, and Jonathan. And, um, th I used to do that a lot. Anyway, <sighs> listen, <clears throat> it didn't help in this life, but maybe the next incarnation. So this is what I did. I made a list side by side to compare these two. Right. And, are they compatible or not? Their birthdays are two days apart in one year. Did you know that? Taraji was born on September the 11th. She's a Virgo, born on a Saturday. And Tyler's birthday is 9-13. <laughs> a year earlier, he's also a Virgo, Virgo, and he was also born on a Saturday. Okay. 
He was born in New Orleans. She was born in Washington, D.C. Hold on. I want to do something else, too. Hold on. It's a metal rat. This is a metal rat year. Uh-oh. I don't know about that. That don't sound good, does it? It's hard. You know it's hard out here for a pimp. pimp. <laughs> Remember Taraji saying that? Okay, listen. I want to look here. Oh, it just went out of my mind. Okay, it'll come back to me. Um, but I was going to look up something. But listen. It's a metal rat year. This is a metal rat year. Uh, 2020 is the year of the rat. According to Chinese Zodiac, this is a year of the metal rat. Metal rat. Okay. Chinese specialists suggest that 2020, the year of the metal rat, is a good time to give birth as metal symbolizes stability and longevity. See how it's just. <laughs> oh, so Taraji is a metal dog. She was born in the metal dog year. And. Tyler was born in the Earth Rooster year. Okay. Interesting, right? Then I looked at best matches, right? The best match for Taraji is tiger, rabbit, or horse. And the worst match is ox. Dragon, sheep, and rooster. Rooster is bad for Taraji. I was like, oh my God, no. Why are you saying that? Everything would have been perfect, you know. She has a son, Marcel. He has a son, Aman, right? Taraji is 50. Tyler is 51. Right? He first became successful in Atlanta in 1992 with I Know I've Been Changed. She became successful in L.A. with Baby Boy in 2001. His company is named Tyler Perry Studios. Her company is named TPH Entertainment. He's worth a billion. She's worth 25 million. Okay. In 2018, Tyler paid Taraji what she deserved. He was the one who really changed her career for the better. And it's been rough uh, for Taraji. And it's been rough for Tyler. We look at both of them. I mean, you look at me and you're like, oh my God, Coco, you look bad. As my friend with John would say, ooh, Coco, but I don't have a million dollars, much less 25 million, okay? And Taraji doing other stuff too, you know, with her hair stuff, and um, she was going to do the show Cookie Lions, but now I think she's going to do something else. Ooh, I sure hope her and Tyler Perry are doing something together, and I hope this time that Tyler does not make her out to be the crazy black woman, please. Tyler got issues, man. He got issues. He got issues. And I hope that he's been going through some therapy. I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, when I think about him, I feel... I feel that feeling that I always felt. And making a decision. How do you know that you're making the right decision? You know, when it comes to personal relationships. For me, let me tell you something. In the year that I was born, Chinese people were trying not to have babies. Because if they had a child in the year that I was born, they were likely to kill their spouse. <laughs> I 
I swear. So the population dropped for that year that I was born because nobody was trying to have a baby in that year, honey. And I'm telling you, I have never allowed myself to get that entrenched in any relationship that I would want to kill somebody. Honey, you ain't worth my freedom. And I don't love nobody like that. Nobody. Do you hear me? Except, except for God. Except for Jesus. <laughs> mm. So 2020 is a year of the metal rat, right? But I looked into rooster man, dog woman, right? What I searched for was earth rooster, male earth rooster with female uh, female metal dog. Now to me, she's stability, he's grounded. I think this would be a great relationship. Um, okay, I'm going to try to find it again. Okay, but they may not have anything. Let's see. Male, right? Earth, rooster, with, I'm going to just call it, is compatible with female metal dog I really believe that they are I see uh, so much in them that bodes well and they have been through so much I really want them to benefit from all the hard work that they have put in in this life I don't want them to leave here without experiencing true love and true joy. And I really believe that it's a necessary ingredient, you know, and I don't want them to have a marriage that where they are just together for business reasons or anything like that, because I think that that would be destructive to both of them. He's such a sweetheart. When he sent his plane to bring Whitney's body back to New Jersey for her funeral and, you know, just all the things that Tyler has done, I really, really, really do want him to uh, have somebody in his life who really loves him, which I do believe that the, the last lady did. But there's a disconnect, honey. If you've been watching my channel, you know I... There's something about being a descendant of black slaves here in America that other nationalities, other immigrants, honey, this is not your story and you just don't understand. There's a, a level where we just can't relate, just can't relate. They just can't. They just don't understand it, you know. And I really believe that Tyler needs to be understood. Let me tell you something. I saw him when he was young, honey. <laughs> when he was a young man. And I remember how he was and just the energy that came from him and all of the people that he worked really hard with. Um, and as challenges came and just, oh my God, do you know how much perseverance, how much faith? That boy was homeless sleeping in his car, y'all. His story needs to be a story of triumph. If, if Tyler as a playwright, was writing the play for his life. It needs to work out for him. Okay? And for me as an author, if I was writing this story, oh, honey, <laughs> 
there will be challenges, but believe you me, I will be writing this story where Tyler just love him some Taraji, honey. And he's so gentle with her and so loving and so careful and she's so nurturing to him. You know, I mean, really nurturing, not uh, so much fussing and criticizing because Tyler does the right thing. He generally does the right thing. And he needs love and Taraji needs love of a man. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Not just in business, but a level of understanding. Tyler has that because he's in the same entertainment business as her. They know a lot of the same people. They've worked together. I just really think that if they get together, <laughs> if I was writing this story, they would be. And they would be happy. And Taraji will get pregnant and have a little girl. <laughs> and she would look just like her mom, be very petite with the angel face and the dimples. And I know it would be, Taraji would be like, oh, hell no. But I think that it would be wonderful for Marcel to have a baby sister and Amon to have a baby sister and Tyler to have a daughter. I think that um, in my heart, the story that I'm writing, that would change. Um, that would allow him and her and their boys to um, let's just say if, if if somebody else another author was writing the story and they wrote it in this way I would I would love that book okay I love that story and that the little girl would just be sweet and kind and um, the apple of her parents' eyes and the jewel in their brother's crowns. And she love and respect them as well. And she was just a smart, beautiful little girl, just like her mom. You know, and that she would be raised in a way, you know, where she didn't have to uh, suffer like her parents did. And that she just is just a good person and loves God and the angels uh, bless her. And um, and she grows up and marries a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful man. <laughs> So anyway, that's that's just what I thought um, this morning. Um, there's a million stories out there. And um, just when I thought about uh, Tyler and Taraji, and I've watched their careers for so long. And life is hard. Life is hard. And you want some people to really have joy in this life, to see them have joy in this life. And that's what I want for Taraji and Tyler. <laughs> and it looks like they have been set up for that. Both born on a Saturday. Both born in, in um, September. Both are Virgos. Um, uh, 
both are parents of sons. Now, she went to Howard University. He just has a GED. Um, he first became... Um, um, he first became successful in 1992. She became successful in 2001. But she went and got her degree first, you know. And um, they've worked together. They know each other. Um, I'm sure they respect each other. He's earth. She's metal. They're both stable. He's grounded. She's strong and stable. Sturdy. Okay. Um, I think this works. That's what I think. What do you think? <laughs> I got to get out of here, y'all. I don't even know what time it is. Hold on. Yeah, 15 minutes. All right, you guys. I got to go. Have a good day. Oh, God be with you until we until the next video. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think below. But I think that this is me being totally, totally selfish. The thought came to me and I liked it. And that thought was Tyler Perry with Taraji P. Henson. That's what I think. What do y'all think? Let me know below. <laughs> My nose just running. This is a hard year, y'all. And I would really love, love, love to know that uh, Taraji is being hugged and kissed under the mistletoe by Tyler Perry next week. <laughs> and uh, when the clock strikes 2021, that Tyler is picking Taraji up and holding her in his arms and kissing her for the new year. That's what I think. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Let me know what y'all think below. Like this video, share this video, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Bye.